You know, at the end of the day, I think what Georgians want us to be about is just to allow a climate to be created where they can go to work. Uh, where they can make and, and earn an income and raise their kids and put them in good schools and, uh, and, and, and so that their children will have those kind of job opportunities too. And that's what we've tried to focus on. We've tried to do it uh, through the tax reform efforts that finally culminated last session in the passage of the Tax Reform Act uh, to House Bill 386, which I think was one of the best pieces of legislation to come out of the General Assembly in years. Uh, what that bill does very simply is allow Georgia to compete with other states for jobs. And I gotta tell you that when I look at some of the results of that competition, uh, it makes me optimistic. Uh, even with all of this kind of gloom and doom I started out by painting about our future. When you look at Caterpillar, for example, bringing their operation back from Japan to Georgia, uh, Baxter International. Um, and I frankly am a big fan of what we're doing with the motion picture industry here in Georgia. Uh, and and I, it may have escaped attention, but we landed a huge uh, sound stage and movie production facility down in Fayetteville a couple of weeks ago that I think is going to transform that industry here in Georgia. Uh, it's the international uh, a movie making company that has some of the leading movies uh, to its credit now and I think is going to add permanent jobs and, and provide the permanent infrastructure uh, for uh, that industry to expand and somebody told me the other day and I haven't checked this yet and I'm sure some PolitiFact if they're here will <laughs> that we're now uh, I hope I'm not, that we're the second busiest state in the nation outside of California now for uh, movie production. Uh, and the impact that that has, and, and, and you know, it's hard to measure, the impact that it has is, is, is kind of far reaching into these communities. And, uh, but it's something I think we can be very proud of. Um, and it came out of uh, our efforts uh, when we preserved the film tax credit last, uh, uh, last session. Um, the other initiative that we're undertaking in the House is what we call the Red Tape Watch, which came out of, of, of some of the concerns that I and other members of the House leadership have, have been hearing from Georgians as we go around the state that, that there are many uh, bureaucratic rules and regulations that uh, small businesses have to live under here in Georgia that are frankly strangling their ability to uh, keep jobs, much less add jobs. And so what we have done is we have charged the Small Business Committee in the House under Chairman David Knight to, uh, to, to have his committee and the House members interact with their constituents and invite them to come in and share these stories, and they have, um, and, and uh, so that at the end of the day we can come up with uh, and two things. One, identifying some of the rules and regs that uh, are unduly burdensome, and secondly, developing some consistent and stable and predictable kind of test uh, for how we promulgate these rules and regs uh, by the, in, in the bureaucracy so that going forward, uh, businesses can have some greater certainty uh, about what they're going to be dealing with. Um, so um, that, that's one of the things that we're, we're doing uh, to create a better job environment here in the state. 